so now the value of x will be 30 let's start with arrays in this video we will see arrays and their relationship with the pointers suppose that you declare one array such that int x 10 then what does this mean in the memory you are having 10 blocks of integer reserved for you from x0 to x9 so this is a uh, like uh, this is a representation of an array in the memory so array is a data structure which can represent a collection of data items which would have the same data type so it means that you cannot store like uh, one integer in this block and one character in this block then one float in this block like that right you have to into uh, you have to store either all integers all floats like that so if you have declared like int x10 then you have to store all integers if you have declared like float x10 then you have to store all the floats right now there are ways to initialize the array first way is that you mention the size which is 10 and then you write down the 10 different values or the same values depending on your initialization so here i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 values right so every value will be will be initialized to 5 so 5 5 5 like that there will be 10 fives now suppose instead of this 5 suppose i write some 15 here so it means after 1 2 3 4 5 there will be 15 1 2 3 4 5 after 4 5 there will be 15 right so you can initialize in your own way or you can skip some of the values which means you are only mentioning two values which is 1 and 2 and the array size is 10 right so you are saying that array size is 10 so there are 10 blocks registered for you but you are mentioning only 1 and 2 so what about the remaining values in case of integer array in case of integer array the remaining values will be zeros okay zeros is the default default value now if you are only saying one value which is which could be anything let's suppose it is zero then this will be zero because you have initialized uh, to the zero and the remaining will be also zero because the default values are zeros in case of integer right now suppose here you are saying instead of zero you are saying 10 then this value will be 10 and everything else will be zero now in case of static array by default the every value will be zero and in case of global array also by default every value will be zero but in case of local array the every value will be some garbage value if it is global then again this is zero all elements are zero now let's see the similar case with the character array character array is bit special you will get to know why see this is a character array here i have mentioned the size which is 5 and four characters i have supplied right so which means it is as good as saying this type which means i have supplied uh, i have i have declared the size 10 and i have supplied only two integers similarly here i have declared size 5 and i have supplied, uh, supplied four characters so which means 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 uh, characters space will be reserved for you and then you are saying a b c d in initial four blocks what about the fifth block here the default value is null character okay the default value is null character which is actually having ascii value as, as 0 so the fifth value will be the just null character but in this case there won't be any fifth value why because you have only specified the size 4 so there will be array which is having a b c d like this okay now see this third case in this third case you are saying s5 so you are reserving the space for 5 but here you are supplying the four characters only so this is the short form of this first way basically first and third way are same so instead of writing a b c d a separately you can also mention in within the double quotes okay so if you are mentioning within the double quotes it is, it is as good as saying a b c d differently so it is basically a b c d and the fifth space is just null character why because you have supplied uh, five as in your array size but see here this fourth one here you are saying that array size is four one two three four but we are supplying four characters which is a b c d what about this fifth character will it be null character no there won't be any null character in this case why because you have reserved only four sides and you are supplying four characters so there will not be there will not be null character not be null at end you got it why because in this case you are saying only four sides and you are supplying the four characters that is why there will not be any null, null character now let's try these example by ourselves in the first case i am saying t8 equal to a b so it means there will be array of size 8 right and first two characters will be a b remaining will be null character null character null character why because null character is default so i think this is done now in this case there will be array of size 3 and you have supplied the three characters a b c will there be null character or anything like that no 
in this case there will be array of size 4 because you have declared 4 size and first 3 were supplied as a abc what about the last one last one is default which is null character now in this case there will be array of size 3 and the values are abc will there be a null character no 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 null okay so it's not like that whenever i'm writing in double quotes there will be a null character always no since there is no space for the null character there is there won't be any null character what about this yes there will be array of size 10 and there will be first three values are abc everything else will be null character null character null character right because null character is a default value here so i hope you got it now let's see what is a string in c programming so there is actually no data type in um, data type as a string in c programming which means you cannot write a string s this is wrong you have in you have care you have uh, like you can declare integer array like this but you cannot declare any string like this so there is no default data type as an string in an in the C program. So how to declare the string and what do we mean by the string? Let's just see it. So a string is nothing but a character array, which means let's suppose you have character array, then you can treat this, you can treat this character array as an string when this character array is ending with null, which means you can treat this as an string. I will tell you what do I, what do I mean by treating, but first let's just understand that whether it can be treated as an uh, as an string or not. This is a character array, right? This is also a character array. This is also a character array. Now, out of these two, which can be treated as a string? This can be treated as a string. This cannot be treated as a string. Why? Because it is not ending with null character. Not ending with null. But what do I mean by treating? What do I mean by treating this character array as a string? And what do I mean by not treating? I cannot treat this character array as a string. It is basically depending on the how we implement the string functions so we implement the string functions based on the criteria that it must end with the null character so i will tell you later in the future slides but for now just understand like this so there is a function called strlen okay this works like this i will be having some loop here and i will be saying while while let's suppose this character is character array name is c i will be saying c of i is not equal to null something like that i will be saying and i will be saying i plus plus or something like that right so i will be just keep on incrementing some index i or, or doing or keep on uh, doing something and i will be relying on the fact that at the last it is ending with the null character and that's how i am implementing this str alien not just str alien there are many string functions like str cpy and percentage s in case of printf or scanf and uh, like uh, str like str cmp there are there are many functions which works on the single criteria that they assume that a string is uh, this character array is ending with the null character so what if i give this this as an input to str alien what will happen see this is not ending with the null character and you do not know what is after this d maybe null character maybe some garbage value maybe some garbage maybe some garbage and at the end maybe after after the 50th character there is a null character so it will keep on incrementing i till there is a null character so maybe it will never end if it is ending maybe it is ending at the some random location so you cannot expect any finite output like any deterministic output uh, from this strlen using this input why because it is not ending with a null character and since this character array is ending with a null character so i can use this character array to our strlen anyway we will see these functions later but for now just understand like this that what do i mean by treating something as an a string so we can treat a character array as a string because the functions like strlen strcpy etc or the percentage x looks for the null character more on this will be covered later okay now let's see if i have some array and the dimension is not specified then what what will the dimension taken by the compiler so if the dimension is not specified then compiler will deduce the dimension from the initializer uh, initializer list so what do you mean by that is that in this case compiler will say that you are supplying nine integers so i will take the array size as nine which means compiler will just say that one two three four till nine why because compiler can easily deduce if the dimension is not specified with the rhs okay it's not like that you cannot say a without a specifying the rhs this will be the wrong syntax in the c programming this will give you error but if you are saying int a and then you are initializing this a then compiler can easily deduce the dimension from here which is 2 so this is allowed and the dimension is 9 now this is also allowed but here it is a little tricky the dimension is supposed to be 4 because we are supplying the 4 characters but we are supplying the 4 characters as an string so compiler would like to put the null character at the end okay 
so which means compiler will say that you are you are saying a b c d but i will reserve an, a space for null character because you are you i, I think you want to specify as an, uh, you want to treat this as an string so let's see by the examples what do i mean by that let's try this example i think after that it will be clear suppose you have something like this compiler will say that okay this is basically array of size 5 because this 5 is fixed the, you are you are giving the 5 as size the 5 is 6 you are supplying a b c d a b c d is fixed now the remaining portion will be filled as null character okay here the 4 is fixed which means 1 2 3 4 and you are supplying a b c d a b c d now do i have a space for null character no null character right here here the dimension is not fixed but you are saying a b c d so a b c d see the dimension is not fixed in this case only this you can treat as like a special case in this case only compiler will like to put the null character at the end okay so there will be null character at the end now in this case will there be a null character no there will be just size 4 a b c d compiler will not put null character at the end in this case okay but if you are specifying as a string and you are not specifying the dimension then compiler will put the null character at the end so this is the special case where you are specifying as a string and you are not specifying the dimension then compiler will put the null character otherwise compiler will never ever put the null character by it itself like you are you are specifying the more dimension that is okay i mean by default it is null character right but the compiler will not put the null character by its own if you are specifying the size and you are supplying the same number of characters so anyway here want to be here want to be any null character no null character it is just a b c d here uh, here will be null character because the size is 10 so it is a b c d and then there will be null character null character null character till six null characters right here will not be any null character it is just a b c d okay i hope you got it now let's see what is the size of these uh, if i print the size of uh, these integer character for float or double so depending on the based on uh, the system it will print the size let's suppose integer is 4 bytes character is 1 byte float is 4 bytes and double is 8 bytes so it will print these sizes depending on the system now suppose that i declare a character type variable a double type variable and i ask you the size it is same as the size of character which is 1 byte and which is 8 bytes suppose like i'm assuming that a double is 8 byte in our system okay now let's see what is the size of an array if you're declaring an array in a time then size of the complete array a okay so size of a is very important a is basically treated as complete array and if you ask me the size of this complete array whenever you're writing size of a it will be the size of complete array which is having the 10 integers which means it is 4 into 10 because this is the size of one integer this is the 10 integers so that is why the answer is 40 what about the size of first integer only the size of a0 it is very easy it is just 4 bytes right so this is 40 this is 4 just uh, pay attention to this now let's see if i print the values then what it will get printed like if i'm printing the value of the pointer my care my short my int then like i already explained that th these things will get printed now what about the pointer arithmetic which means if i increment this my care to 1 which means like initial value of my care initial value of my care is i think 1000 but i want to increment this my care to 1 so my care plus 1 what will be the value of my care plus 1 it will be just one character away so it will go here it will say my care plus 1 will be 1001 what about my short plus 1 so my short initial value is 2000 but my short plus 1 will be having initial value as something else it won't be 2001 so my short plus 1 will go my sh uh, this will go one short away which means one short away means it will go two bytes away two bytes away means 2002 so it will be 2002 similarly my int plus 1 want to be 3001 so my int initial value is 3000 but my int plus 1 will be having the value of 3004 why because because it will go four bytes away because it will go the it will go one integer away so this is just one integer it will go one integer away that is why the value is 3004 now let's see this suppose i declare three pointers one is character pointer another one is short pointer another one is integer pointer and i'm asking you the values of this so initial value of c is i think thousand and here s is i think having 2000 as a value and p is having the value as 3000 now what is the value of c plus one c plus one will be having the value of thousand one why because it will be one character away because it is a uh, it is a character type pointer it will be one short away that is why it will be 2002 it will be one uh, one integer away that is why it will be 3004 so that's how it is working right now let's see how it works in terms of formula so c plus one will be c plus size of the character why it is character here because c is a character type pointer 
so it it will be c plus 1 into size of whatever it is pointing to whatever it is pointing to so it is pointing to a character that is why it will be a character s is pointing to a short that is why it will be short p is pointing to integer that is why it will be integer so if you calculate it it will be 1001 it will be 1002 it will be 3004 now can we generalize it which means instead of writing care short int can be can we generalize it yes there is a very, a very easy way what you can do instead of writing this care short int you can say star c star s star p in general if p is a pointer you can always say star p why because what i want here i want whatever it is pointing to and star p or star s star c these things will exactly be same as whatever it is pointing to so p if p is in pointer p is, p is a pointer then if i if i ask you that what p is pointing to then you can say that it is star p okay p is pointing to always star p p is always pointing to star p I mean pointing to type of star p so whatever is the type of star p it is always pointing to that so which means c is a character type uh, character type pointer then if i ask you what c is pointing to you can say star c star c will be a character c c is a character type pointer care pointer then star c will be care right so that is why if i ask you what c is pointing to you can say star c which is nothing but care similarly if i ask you what what s is pointing to, you can say star s star s is a short why because if s is a uh, short type pointer then star s will be the short if p is an integer type pointer p is an integer pointer then star p will be integer only right so in general for any pointer p you can say p plus 1 equal to p equal to p plus 1 into size of star p now depending on the star p it will be int either short or cat right so you can generalize it for for any for any pointer type p plus 1 or p plus any constant will be p plus 1 into size of star p okay yeah so in general you can say like this for any pointer type which means the pointer type could be any complex as you can think maybe like in future we will we will see something like this okay these complex declarations we will see so in those type of type of declarations also or any declaration like if p is pointer then you can always apply this formula okay let's try by ourselves suppose the initial value of p is thousand and care is just one byte in our system and size of address which means size of any pointer is eight bytes then what is this like what is the value of p plus one see this p is something double star that we have not studied yet but that is okay we do we do not need the concept of double pointer in, to solve this problem so p plus 1 will be p plus 1 into size of star p and what is star p is just that so p is pointing to like p is pointing to something which is pointing to a character okay you will study this later in the, in the subsequent lectures but yeah uh, like for now just understand that this is a character and p is pointing to a pointer basically it is a correct pointer care pointer so star p is nothing but care pointer care type pointer now every pointer size will be same which is just a address address size which is eight bytes so it will be p plus one will be thousand plus one into eight which is thousand eight okay now if you have not understood this then completely fine because we are going to study the double pointer later in the future classes okay future slides let's see the pointers and arrays suppose that uh, this is a pointer integer pointer this is an array and i want p p a to point to the first element of the array because first element is an integer so i can i can point to the first element why because p is an integer type pointer p a is an integer type pointer and it can point to any integer maybe that integer is an array and may not be in, is in array right so i can ask p a to point to a so this is how i can ask right very easy to write it now if i do p a plus 1 it will it will move to the next integer if i do p a plus 2 it will move to the next integer like that right 